all right so welcome to this dynamic ray testing between two cameras uh, which is nikon z63 and uh, other is nikon zf so on my uh, let's start comparing these two cameras so on my left hand side i have nikon z63 on my right hand side i have nikon zf uh, both are at zero exposure comp as you can see over here z63 it's right over here, Z63 at zero exposure comp. On the right hand side, it's ZF at zero exposure comp. So, if I'm going to compare them side by side, other than the white balance issue, the the details and the color accuracy of the subject is appears to be, you know, Z6 ZF actually little bit contrastier and slightly cooler tint, in compared to Z63. That three images appears to be more warm in color, and compared to ZF, which is more cooler. Now, what we are going to do next? We are going to basically uh, choosing the uh, uh, minus one stop and expose image from Z63, and the next also is uh, minus one stop and expose image from ZF. So let's increase the exposure of. Uh, this uh, zf by minus one stop so let's reset all okay so that is going to be i'm increasing the exposure by plus one and also this uh, which is zf was minus one stop under expose i'm going to increase the exposure by plus one plus one so yep okay so both images from this and this let's start compare uh, on my left hand side I have Z63 on my right hand side it's ZF both images are minus one stop under exposed which is increased by plus one so as you can see the details are pretty much identical same cooler uh, like cooler tonality from zf on the right hand side and z63 is by uh, much more warmer in color there is no noise at plus one exposure recovery so the images were minus one exposure uh, EVF which is increased by plus one in Lightroom as you can see but details pretty much fine from both so let's reset them all going to the develop module now we are going to choose the minus two exposure so this Z Z63 is by minus two stop and expose which I'm going to plus by plus two so let's plus two so that's exposure is recovered by plus two and this is z f which is also minus two stop under expose okay i'm going to increase its exposure by plus two so both images are you know ex choose by exposure by increased by plus two going to compare them side by side so on my left hand side Z63 with plus 2 EVF exposure recovery on my left hand side is ZF with plus 2 exposure uh, recovery and both images appears to be the same other than you start seeing a little bit hint of noise at plus 2 so at minus 2 when you start recovering the exposure from Z63 as a very slight hint of noise appears whereas ZF it still appears to be the same nothing's changed so let's reset everything and <clears throat> now the next is uh, this uh, Z63 this image is minus 3 stop and direct expose so I'm going to increase the exposure by plus 3 on this uh, Z63 and same on 
zf which is also minus 3 stop under expose so i'm going to increase his exposure by plus 3 uh, and i'm going to compare them side by side on my left hand side on the left uh, z6 3 on the right hand side zf at plus 3 exposure recovery there is and start seeing the ZF is appears to be a little darker even though the exposure was recovered by at the, exactly the near identically plus one EV um, so plus three actually not one plus three EV but still uh, the ZF appears to be a little darker Z63 is retains the detail the same and we start showing a little hint of noise coming from the z60 but we are talking about minus 3 ev exposure so that this image from z63 is underexposed by three stop which i recovered this you know in post processing and z6 zf actually on the right hand side slightly darker even though the exposure recovery is the same so that's another noticeable thing so it means that the metering on zf is appears to be a little bit off in compared to z63 let's reset everything and now i'm going for uh, this image this is from z63 it is underexposed by minus four stop okay and uh, the same image from zf is also minus four stop so both images are minus 4 stop I'm going to increase the exposure by plus 4 okay you see plus 4 and the same on ZF I'm going to increase the exposure by plus 4 again it's slightly darker so it means that up to minus 2 EV the ZF was appears to be right but after from minus 3 EV the exposure metering is little bit off from ZF it has to be co more than plus four even though the image was and exposed by minus four anyhow so i'm going to compare them side by side on the left hand side is z63 minus four ev under exposed image which is recovered by plus four in lightroom on the right hand side the same from zf plus four exposure recovery and i'm going to compare them side by side and uh, the the noise from Z63 is very much visible now, which will start giving us the hint uh, in minus uh, 2 EVF recovery, EV exposure recovery, but uh, this time is very prominent. On ZF, no noise, uh, very less, very less, but the same that uh, the white balance is again the same it's cooler and zf is cooler and z63 is warmer but the major difference right now is that zf on the right hand side despite having the same exposure recovery it still appears to be darker uh, from a minus 2 ev onwards which is not right so it means that there should be half a stop more exposure i need to add on zf to get the equivalent exposure of z63 so that's another noticeable thing so let's reset everything going to the last image okay uh, let's go back a little okay this one z63 minus 5 as you can see okay and zf also minus 5 so both images are darker so let's go for z63 i'm going to increase the exposure by plus 5 okay and this is zf exposure i'm going to increase by plus five again it's very dark i cannot increase exposure more than plus five on this so that's six three and this is zf comparing them side by side left hand side on the left hand side is z six three at minus five ev with plus five exposure recovery on the right hand side is zf with minus five ev underexposed image which is recovered in post processing by adding plus five exposure and as you can see 
of course the noise is all over over here but we are on z63 but we are talking about minus 5 ev exposure recovery which is insane and there is no white balance shift which is really incredible rest of the mirrorless camera from other brand they start shifting the white balance from minus uh, 2 ev onwards so at the moment they you start exposure recovery from minus 2 ev onwards so like minus 3 they start shifting the white balance yellow green magenta but that's 6 3 and it's incredible there is no white balance shift this is insane and this white balance is usually visible on the you know darker uh, you know shadow area and as you can see there is still no there is a still no white balance shift in the darker areas yes noise is there but we are talking about minus 5 ev and you can see over here this appears to be a little bit orangey it was not there before but zf is appears to be a little bit orangey at minus 5 ev exposure recovery so the white balance is on par on perfect on z63 and we are over uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 exposure recovery which is insane. The noise is there but again like I said we are talking about minus 5 exposure, minus 5 EV exposure recovery. So that's it. This is the side by side comparison of uh, dynamic range from Nikon Z63 and ZF. As you can see both cameras are really holding up really good and uh, Let's go for at the beginning. This and this at zero exposure, and not not this one, not this one. This and this comparison. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, uh, this is at zero exposure compensation, and both images super clean super clean and we are talking about zero this is uh, minus one minus two minus three so minus three let's let's do one more time uh, plus three okay and uh, this is zf let's do this plus 3.5 let's try that actually not 3.5 let's try plus four okay if I'm comparing them I'm just you know doing an experiment no not good was, let me try this let's go for plus three not now it's good so this and this comparison okay so this is also in minus 3 and this is also in minus 3 so both images from uh, right now it's on the right hand side is Z60 on the left hand side is ZF both images are pretty darn good so yeah that's it I hope you like this video and uh, you saw the comparison of Z63 and ZF and the dynamic range and the exposure recovery in post processing and uh, the incredible thing about ZF exactly is the white balance which is I wasn't expecting that it's going to be so damn good so if I'm talking about this is minus 5 EV uh, you know you see this is minus 5 EV uh, uh, from Z63 and if I'm going to compare that uh, increase, increase the exposure by plus 5 it's so clean still clean so if I'm going to apply let's say luminosity you see this this uh, noise reduction and increase the sharpness look it looks like I'm shooting at ISO like, like, like uh, at exposure zero it's still so clean incredible so that's it I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys in future with some new content till then take care